Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be discussing three different LUT packs for the Sony ecosystem that I think you know, are probably the most popular and prominent that you might wanna choose from. The buttery LUTs, the phantom LUTs, and the DSLR video shooter Caleb Pike LUT packs. So these three LUT packs are mainly designed for your FX3, FX30, FX6, A7S3, A1, and A7 IV. First off, let's do a brief explanation of what a LUT is. And I'm sorry if you already know what this is, I'm not gonna go into great detail, but here it is. A LUT stands for lookup table. It's a mathematical formula that applies color grading to your footage, but there is so many to choose from. And what is the right one for you? That comes down to your own opinion and the style and look that you're going for. LUTs are very subjective, and I will say that before I start this video, that you may not like the ones that I'm choosing. With that said, Let's get into the first set, the buttery LUTs. Buttery LUTs have become a pretty popular choice for filmmakers and just content creators in general. They're really known for their more warm and inviting look to them. Buttery LUTs are designed to work specifically with S-Log3, S-Log2 footage, uh, which is a flat and desaturated color profile that captures a lot of dynamic range. You know all that, I'm just reading off the list. Now here's my take. They're $49.99, uh, you get about, I think, 12 or 13 different LUTs in this pack. You're gonna be using the uh, Eterna LUT probably the most. All the other ones are, are pretty good, but the Eterna LUT is probably their, their most known for LUT in general. It's, uh, it's probably the warm, creamy looking one that uh, just is really what they kind of go off of, I think. I would overexpose for this LUT pack just a little bit because it, it does blanket the entire S-Log2, S-Log3, you know, color profiles. It doesn't have it specific for just the S-Log3 color profile, which I did find I didn't trust fully. Um, now, they work great. I will say, in S-Log3, if I just throw the Eternal LUT over it, uh, I have no problems. I, I mean, it's just, it's clean. I have to do very minimal you know, exposure adjustments just depending on how I shot it. And uh, it, it looks great. Out, out of the, just out of the box, just by itself. I like LUTs that are a little more segmented between S-Log3, S-Log2. I think that the blanket over the entire Sony ecosystem from the a7 III to the FX6, I think that there's something missing there or could be missing there compared to like the Phantom LUTs or the DSLR video shooter LUTs. Buttery LUTs typically add a subtle amount of contrast and saturation to your footage, which can help bring out the colors of your image without making it look over-processed. I think these LUTs could often be used for wedding and creative work as the warmer feel is great. So my take on this pack is they're great, but kind of expensive. All right, on to the next one, the Phantom LUTs. Now this is probably the most common one you see across YouTube or content creators stuff uh, anywhere is the Phantom LUT packs. In that, and specifically the Ari look that you get from the Phantom LUT packs. They add contrast and saturation to your footage and they're more of like a stylized look. Phantom LUTs are also designed to work with S-Log3 footage for specific cameras, meaning they have LUTs for the A7S3, FX3, separate from like the FX6, for instance. They make them more specific to the log cameras that are actually being used. The Phantom LUTs are great if you're looking to add a little bit more style and personality to your footage. They have two packs available, the Ari pack and the Film pack. I would say the best bang for your buck is the Ari Look pack, as it has the best LUT in it, which is neutral. <laughs> I, I go to neutral all the time. I just think it looks so great when you're looking for that kind of stylized or almost a little bit, dare I say, gritty look. Does it mirror an actual Aerie camera? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I think it looks good. And I think that uh, the colors are reminiscent of that Ari look. You have to get this one properly exposed and white balance needs to be nailed to make it look really good. For this one, you need to expose you know, at zero or maybe just a little bit to the right, you can get away with a lot with these LUTs when it comes to exposure and low light. If you accidentally underexpose a little bit, you're able to kind of hide that noise in these LUTs really well and the colors still look really good. In fact, they even recommend that you shoot almost at zero or on the line when it comes to shooting with these LUTs. Overexposing isn't necessarily fully needed, but you have to use that as a case by case situation when it comes to shooting outside. This pack is a lot of fun. It has a lot of really cool LUTs in it, but neutral is just the one I choose. This LUT pack comes in at $49.99 and sometimes you can get it for around 15% off depending on if they're running a promotion. I've also seen people have like be sponsored by these LUT packs. That's something I should state too. I'm not being 
sponsored by any of these LUT packs. These are just my own opinions. But I have seen the Phantom LUTs go on sale for up to 30% off on people's YouTube channels in the past. So, uh, and then during Black Friday, they go for you know pretty good discounts also. Also, one of the really cool things about this LUT pack is that they keep on updating it. You will get free updates for the pack that you purchase for forever is what they state. And I don't know, if, ho hopefully that's the case. But I've gotten, I think we're on, I don't know, like the seventh rendition of the A7S III LUT pack. So they keep on updating it and they send you an email, you just code download, and it's really nice and easy to, to get that free update every time you go through that. To touch on the film LUTs a little bit, I play with them, I like them, they're cool. I use them more as a finishing look. So I'll turn them way down, maybe turn the transparency on a little bit and just kind of adjust them you know, differently than the, the neutral LUT. So I'll use neutral and then I'll throw like a film look over the top of it, but just turn it way down. That's, that's the way I use them. I don't like them just thrown over the footage personally, but they do have some really cool ones in there. And, and it all depends on your taste and what you're going for. I'll keep reiterating that as this video goes on. So the next one's my new go-to, and honestly, the best bang for your buck. Not sponsored, I promise. Caleb Pike, DSLR video shooter, he, he creates you know, awesome content. I know you've watched some of his stuff. He gives you a lot pack that is so universal and just for the creator. It's, it's really well done. I, I use these LUTs for all of my corporate work, all of my business work, everything pretty much. I'm even using it right now for this video uh, as my primary LUT from the beginning to now. Uh, you've seen different LUTs going through and the different LUTs for each pack during that, but for right now you're seeing the Caleb Pike LUT. And I, I just, I love this look. It's just clean, it's true to form. I love that they aren't really stylistic and the colors are so natural and untouched. So they're $29.95 and you get 35 different LUTs. And honestly, like I would pay $29.95 for just the false color LUT. This is so cool to have and it's so set up just for like the Sony ecosystem. Um, I'm using false color on my monitor right now. I'm using the RE false color built into my small HD. I love it. But most of the time, I'll be using the Caleb Pike DSLR video shooter false color LUTs. And I use them in color grading all the time in Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro doesn't have a false color feature. So I can really adjust my highlights and shadows and everything I want off of that LUT pack or that LUT and then I can throw the LUT over the top of it, I know pretty much what it's gonna look like. And the fact that you can now load LUTs into the FX3, FX30, and FX6, and be able to shoot with that false color on the back of that screen, it's huge. It's so nice to be able to have that built into those cameras, and if you don't get false color already on them. I think false color is personally the way to shoot with a camera. Just to take out all the noise of every, everything else and focus on skin tones, shadows, you know, and then like your white card and just know where that is. Like for the money, I think these are the ones to get, just honest opinion. In the LUT pack, you get 35 different LUTs like I said before, but you get different exposure settings in each of those LUTs. So I have a base, I have 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and two. And then I have different skin tones built out in every one of those, you know, categories. It's awesome to be able to have that because if I am on a shoot and like my ND is running out, like I, I, I'm, I'm to the limits on everything, I can then set my camera to see what it's going to look like if I go two stops over. I can set my camera to look at what it's like when I go 1.5 over or 0.5 over. It just, it makes it really nice. And I, that's why I say these are the filmmakers LUT pack because you can, you know, look at everything as you're shooting and it just, you can see what the final output more or less going to look like. And the colors just look great, you know, and he does the same thing that Phantom Lutz does in that when you, when he updates them, he sends you a free, you know, link to download your LUT pack. The cool thing about the Caleb Pike LUT pack is too, is if you spend the, I think it's $59.99, you get like your camera's breakdown and how to use your camera and all the different settings and features and all that. Like he does this great walkthrough of each individual camera. He has one on the a7S III that I purchased uh, a long time ago that came with the LUT pack. And now he just updates that as I go. And I can just go into that LUT pack, download it, and then go from there. There's a lot of really good information. You think you know a lot about your camera, you use it all the time, but it's always nice to have somebody else that, you know, has put all this stuff and all this time and energy into a course that you can kind of go through and see what you know works and doesn't work for you um, i find it really helpful 
and plus the LUT pack on top of that, it just, it made it for me. So Caleb Pike LUT pack, that's my final one that I'm talking about. I think it's, it's awesome. I highly recommend it. There are a lot of LUT packs out there. It can be really hard to choose what works for you as it's such a stylistic opinion of what you're looking for and what you're, maybe even what your customer is looking for. LUTs can be a powerful tool when it comes to color grading and just your post-production or even production workflow. The buttery LUTs, the Phantom LUTs, and the DSLR video shooter LUTs are you know, a great base to start with. You will have to make adjustments to your final out output and your final look. You can't just throw a LUT onto something and expect it just to look great and be perfect. So with that said, um, in conclusion, you just have to choose what works for you and you have to try different things. Uh, does that mean you should go spend, you know, 160 bucks on, on different LUTs? No, not necessarily, but you might want to pick a pack or, you know, get, get some insight from other people and try it out. I hope this video has helped you understand what these three packs can do for you and how you might be able to utilize them going forward. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you want to. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Cheers.